Hey guys and girls, what's going on? 41177 here, and I'm going. I'm doing a challenge run. This is not a challenge run that I have seen somewhere else. This is one that I have surprisingly, for better or for worse, made up myself. And if you can't tell the starting items that I have right now, I'll show them to you. I got inner eye, mom's eye, mom's contact, and spoon bender. So. If you can't tell from the title of this run, or the items I have, this one is all about the different tears effects, mainly the ones with eyes. I could be taking stuff like Polyphemus or Peeper's Eye, which also have stuff to do with eyes, but then that would be kind of crazy in my opinion, a little bit too powerful. But I am quite powerful as it is, and I feel like to balance that out, I need to do a couple of things and some of those things that I'm going to be doing is taking no items from item rooms or shops until either the depths or necropolis and no d6. Can't use the d6 either. Those are just the rules that I have laid out for myself. Hopefully it's balanced. I'm not sure. I figure I gave myself four items so four item rooms plus no shops since they are pretty good items and then no d6 just because I feel that it would be the nice icing on the cake to balance it off let's see what the first item would have been it's only sack of pennies so I'm not going to be too sad about missing out on that but I can open up this tinted rock get a few soul hearts there that's wonderful so any items that I find if I found one during the envy fight I would be allowed to take that and boss room items I'm gonna allow myself to take those deal the devil those are gonna be allowed just not item rooms or shops I think that's gonna be the right way to go if it starts to become a little bit too powerful then I will be probably not taking boss room items, but for now, I'm gonna play it as it is. And things are going pretty well so far. Haven't taken damage yet, I don't think. And that's a wonderful thing. I'm gonna go fight the boss right away. It's a champion, Gertie Jr. That's not good news. The more we can freeze, the better. And I do have to be kind of careful. Never mind. The fact that Gertie Jr. can just dash at any time kind of scares me. And I'm on the wrong side of the screen. I should be on the other side. Just in case that happens, it gives me more time to react. We are in full dash mode take the HP upgrade, walk into here, is that the, that's not the normal price for Guppy's Paw, is it? Well, I can't take it, and I don't really feel like the nail either, so therefore, I'm just going to walk out. The reason I'm going to go throughout the rest of the floor here is I want to collect more keys, possibly. Or bombs or money. All are useful. That was an unfortunate hit of damage. I'll take Goat Hoof because it's definitely helps, but never said it helps too much. And I don't have any other trinkets, so I don't see why I should not be taking it. I'd like to find a bomb. Looks like there's only one option for the secret room. I could damage myself a lot to go into the boss trap room and get an extra item, but uh, it's too much health going down the drain. I could recover a bit from the boss room, and here actually. Well, I shot out all the fire, so I guess if I want to go back on it, it's too late now, and that is my own fault. That's okay. Moving on down to the caves. This room is not fun. At least not for me. 
Luckily, I've managed to escape the tears of the three meat globs, whatever they're called. The fact that I can freeze these guys is nice, kind of freeze them and focus on the ones that are frozen and run away. Getting some extra range would actually be a nice little benefit. It would help the homing effect to take a longer time to home in or do a few more circles. Better chance of actually hitting them. Just kind of chase this guy around. Wait for these guys to go away. At least one of them. So with no item rooms and shops and D6, I don't have to do as much backtracking. And this run's going to go pretty fast, at least for the first part. Almost picked up the tick. That would have been not good news. Tint, last tinted rock was pretty good for me. This one's the same. You get a key and an item that I can actually pick up. Almost took a hit of damage there. Now watch out for the champion. I'm hoping it's a bomb fly. It is. That eternal heart is a very lucky drop. And Pestilence is a pretty good boss to be fighting. I got no problems fighting Pestilence. And that's a lot of bombs. I don't know if that's from like, the freezing effect if, or what causes that, but it happens from time to time and it's kind of scary. I will be picking that up just a little bit later. I don't think it'll be too much later because should almost be done the floor. This is the last room. Let's get rid of... Okay. It's hard to get these guys to pop up when I want them to with the freezing effect. Good amount of keys, no bombs. Well, I guess that's one of the trade-offs that I made when pulling up that tinted rock. I'm starting to get to that point where I'm thinking even boss room items may be a bit much. But that's kind of because I got an eternal heart on the last floor, which is just a lucky drop. Luckily managed to get rid of the more difficult half of this room right away. How much can I hit Lear Jr.? Poor guy. That was a bit over a bit of an overkill there. Could go into the hiding area just in the corner here. And hopefully they, they won't find me. But I can also try and keep my distance. That seems to be working fairly well. As they all bunched up to the one side of the room. These guys, easier than the last room, I think. Even if I get hit here somehow, I think it'd still be easier than the last room. Get rid of the red guys, but getting rid of the green guys clears up a little bit of space to move around, so that's nice too. And what happened there? Does somebody want to explain that? Somebody? Because I've never seen that happen before. And as per the usual, I'm going to go fight the boss right away. It's the Fallen. So that's not only interesting, it's also very nice because I should be getting a good item. Either that or a useless one. But that's with most bosses. So the chance to get a great item is its pretty, pretty exciting. I don't know why I shot sideways there. Yeah, the less they chase me, the better, and if I can freeze them, that's also good news, and the freezing kind of got me off of my rhythm just a bit there. That's okay, I'd still rather have the freezing. Brother Bobby's not great, but I will take him. It's a free Brother Bobby, so I can't complain too much. More bombs good things. I actually have equal number of bombs and keys right now. 
And as per the usual, explore the rest of the floor. Because you never know what you could find. And what I found was some spiders. Still haven't found the item room or the shop, but both I cannot go into, so it doesn't matter too much. Would be nice to find an arcade. Maybe. I don't know what I would do in there. Okay, some smart plays there on who to target first. Managed to get me out of a tough spot. Well, here's the arcade they said I wouldn't know what to do with. And I'm going to explore the rest of the floor before adventuring into there. And now I guess I'd hope for a library because maybe I, I'd be allowed to take an item from there. It does fit within my rules, so maybe. But first I'd actually have to find one before deciding. Come on. That's nice. That's a nice green guy. What's in here? Got myself some monies. Okay, I think I went about this room the wrong way. But it's working out, so no complaints here. Free second secret room. Makes this backtracking all worthwhile two pills interesting range upgrade that's wonderful and puberty look at that range okay so I think I'm actually not gonna go to the arcade and I see I think only three options for secret rooms so, not quite sure what I want to do about that just yet. I think I'm just going to leave because that's the direction I'm heading and I'm a little bit too lazy to go and backtrack. We are on Necropolis Part 1 and therefore looks like items are going to be back on the table. That's a good thing. Come on, Mr. Worm. It's your time to go. Surprisingly, throughout all this time, I don't even have enough money to make the shop completely worthwhile. Let's do this. Collect some extra bombs. I think I made a profit on that room. Maybe by one. Maybe not. Okay, they shouldn't be able to shoot that far. This is just awful. The range on these guys for this style of room is just a bit too long, in my opinion. You should at least have some place where you can hide. That wasn't very smart of myself. Enough money, plus a free hermit card, all in the same room. You can sign me up for that once again. Although, Greed was not the shop that I was hoping for. I am all out of Soul Hearts for the first time in a long time. That's not exciting. But at least on the positive side... Okay, well, the Stars card. That saves me another key. No D6 at all throughout the entire game. But yeah, on the positive side for that room, I don't have to go to the top or to the bottom. And it's awful when you have to do that because it's near impossible to get by those spikes. It's possible if you just only have to go in the middle, but not if you have to get to the top or the bottom. Unless, of course, you can fly. In which case, it's not too bad then. Not the payout I was hoping for. From that room. But I hardly get items, so I don't know why I usually expect to find them there. Ok, 
Okay, Red Hearts, you dropped a lot before. Now you're not dropping at all. I like to go back to the way things were. The keys and bombs, yeah, they're great and all, but I kind of need health at the moment. And that's a fairly important part of the game, is having enough health to survive. Thank you. Went to both the shop and the item room for free, and so I guess it's just the boss room that's left. You can go and damage yourself a lot. Was this the good pill? It was. Range upgrade. Judgment. Buddy. How's it going? I want to spend my money on you. Don't really want the keys. And I want an item. Well, it's going to save me a bit of money. Can't use the D6 to re-roll it, so might as well. This is also fairly interesting. I do have some soul hearts to back me up, but first things first, I'm going to go fight the boss here. It's war, second cube of meat. That's wonderful. Second cube of meat is definitely much better than the first. Not getting as much freezing as I would have liked. Of course, mid sentence, the game has to correct me. Freezing is going to be really important here, although getting that speed upgrade in the item room was nice. It may not be enough because this war is pretty fast. And the freezing did cooperate. I think you're going to be having a lot of red hearts on your side. So start to pay out now with good stuff. I did get a speed upgrade, so I'll take the curved horn. That was a bad trip. That's not good news for you. Polaroid's okay. But I'm only going to take it when I need to. My priestess is pretty good. Come on now. Come on, you can't take all my red health. Apparently he can. And apparently I'm also just going to give it to him like that. Take one of these. Oh no, take one of those. One of these. Pay this guy one more time. Taking a big risk here. I need full health to go into that. And... I'm not going to be spending any more money on you. Or any more health, I should say. I'm already low enough as it is, and that's quite scary. Let's get the Champion Leaper out of the way. He's the big scary one in this room. Got rid, got rid of the regular Leaper. There goes the Champion. Just one zombie left. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Just keep the distance. And that's a free secret room. Let's do it. I can't use the D6, so Book of Blyle is actually pretty good. I'm happy to be taking that item. As a space bar item was one of the things I needed. Although on the negative side, I don't know where I was. So I don't know how to get back. But I'm sure I'll find my way eventually. I'll just try down here. Haven't seen this room before. And I need health. Red health, soul hearts, just health in general. Somebody please drop health. Okay, that's a good start. But a start is all it is found my way back to get the High Priestess card once again. And I am going to check out the rest of this area up here, because I know I missed this way. Okay, don't get hit by the turrets, don't get hit by the leapers. Really simple, right? Yeah, you would think so. 
boss room. Not just yet. Gonna need more health and I'm gonna need to find the item room and the shop first. And in all likelihood, I'm probably gonna want to clear out the rest of the floor before doing the boss. This could be the shop. It also could be... Oh, whoa. Don't know what I was thinking there. This could be a library. It wasn't. It's the ladder. No, the ladder's not great. But I want to spend my money on something. Plus it may help me gather a few items. These guys are not too much fun. The head was still firing at me while it was frozen. And I think all of a sudden the head turned into a body there. If you go back, you can see that there's like a body that was moving around on one of those stringy neck things. I don't know what to call them. It's just necks if you want to be really technical. But stretchy neck. Let's wait for the creep to go away. Still looking for red health. This could be a nice source of it. Could also just steal all my money. That's another possibility. And it can just give me money and be useless. Or it can give me a range upgrade and be fairly nice. So my range is... it's spectacular. And I don't want to spend all day there. Okay, I may not be as desperate for health as I once was, actually, maybe I am, but I gotta still play more cautiously. This is not a time to be running around and doing crazy stuff. There we go. More health, full health pill would be fantastic. I don't know if there's one of those in the rotation. But hopefully there is. I've almost ventured through the entire floor, so this may be my only source of health. That's a bad trip pill. Bad trip may be useful. If it acts as a full health, I'm not 100% sure if it always works or not. I think I'm just going to stick with the High Priestess. I have confidence that I can get back to full health anyways. And hopefully I can stay out of trouble with once I get back to that full health. Taking the bad trip pill might may be the right call if I'm thinking long term. But right now I'm not and that's not always a good thing. But the game is starting to give me some health. Some more adventuring is definitely recommended for me in my current position. There is an arcade. That could be a good source of health. Halo flies. Nice little defense boost. And I will spend some extra money here. And I will spend a bomb. There's a good chance that that usually gives you a health, or some red health. So that's why I decided to blow it up. I have a good enough trinket. So I don't think I will be needing a new one. Yes, I could get soul hearts from there. But I don't have a great need for those either. Although if I'm asking for red health, then maybe I do need soul hearts. And we'll play down to zero cents. Because that's just the way things are going right now. The last penny goes to you. First time you can give me health. And you don't. Let's see if I can get some more money out of this. The nickel's pretty good. Plus my bomb that I spent to blow that up also came back to me. So it's all you now, buddy. It's just up to you. You gotta give me something. Here we go. Really? 
One more try. Give me another chance, buddy. No, you're not gonna give me another chance. Well, you're not a good sport, anyways. And with all that being done, I guess it's time to go to the boss room. Went to the shop, picked up the ladder, got the halo flies from the item room, went to the secret room through the moon card, went to the arcade, can't really see too much else that needed to be done. Used the book of Blau because I actually remembered. Can't believe I missed the flies. Especially with homing tears. That's kind of embarrassing. Okay, where are you going? Tears. You're going to lose the foot, not the eyeballs. Make up your mind already. Yes. Avoid the foot. That's going to be priority number one. Priority number two, crowd control. And these things will work themselves out. Bad trip. I found pills. This pill. Telepills. Interesting. That's actually could be useful if there's a deal with the devil or angel. I think by now I would have earned deals with the angel because, well, I haven't taken any deal with the deal with the devil items. Although I think I've only found one of the rooms, so maybe it's not as high of a chance as I would have thought. Pause of steel is wonderful. No deal with the angel. Remember to pick up the Polaroid. I think finding Bad Trip here is a sign that I should be taking it. So, if you guys were complaining that I didn't take it before, well then, guess what? I still took it anyways. So the joke's on you. It was my plan all along. Okay, go away. We have an XL floor. Would have been nice to have found the world card or something that would show me where the boss rooms are. In just kind of in a general sense. I can use the Book of Belial once again, that's wonderful. And, well, could be good to use it here. Don't think I'm going to do that. Because it, it also seems like a slight bit of a waste. Although, that was a tricky spot to be in. I'm really trying to focus on the little guys, because I can get them frozen. And they are the annoying part of this fight. Okay, he's frozen, so I can sneak by him there. Okay, yeah, goodbye to you. More soul hearts, always welcome. Got rid of the spider right away. That's good news. And from here... Looks like we're on a pretty good path towards what could be a boss room. Getting real lucky with those soul hearts. Diglets and dead end. That's not good. Because that was quite a long path and typically the bosses are on the farthest path from, from the starting room. So that means I'm going to have to fight a lot more extra rooms. And that's a lot more chances where I could lose health. Come on Diglett, you gotta go down sometime. Could use the moon card. I'm gonna use the moon card. That's key. That's not a great item now, is it? I'll go, go this way. And from here, wait for the creep to go away. Take out the red nub. And maybe the other one too. I'm gonna try and go back to my stuff, which is a long ways away. So, be prepared for a little bit of backtracking. It is going to happen. I do want that bad trip pill with me. Okay, come on champion. Big guts. Now just a little guy. And goodbye. Walked right through that one. Okay, hearts. Not too bad. If they're just by themselves, of course. If they're not, then that's when we got trouble. 
I can worry about the doppelganger later. How am I going to do that though? That's a good question. Let's do it a tested way. Use a bomb. Managed to get a bomb back from that room, so using it was not a bad idea. Stayed neutral with the amount of bombs that I have. Luckily I did get that speed upgrade, otherwise backtracking would be a pain. Although it still kind of is. I still think I'm making fairly good time with this run. Let's focus on the fetus there. And then the other one. Oh, the guts got in the way. Noble sacrifice by the guts. That's okay. They're all gone now. That's a range upgrade. I don't really need a range upgrade. But I'm going to take it anyways. Because there's chances for a hidden tinted rock also. It can't hurt to have more range. It looks like the boss room should be to the right. But I'm just going to take my chances and go to the left. Okay. Try and get myself a little bit of extra dodging room. Because I value dodging room quite a bit. And judgment is here. Are you going to pay out nice and quickly for me? Please say yes. Please. I'm saying please. Okay, he did pay out nice and fast. HP upgrade. Maybe not the amazing thing that I was hoping for. But it still is decent. Okay, watch out for that explosion. And you know what? I haven't really killed too much in that room, so I'm just going to move on. Hope that the boss rooms are this way and I don't have to backtrack. I found pills. Wonderful. This is another lengthy path. So I have high hopes for it. Got rid of the husk fairly easily. Come on, fly. Picking up more money is not always a bad thing. I probably should save just a bit in case I do come across another judgment some other time. But I will go down to about 10 cents maybe. Make that 9. Just spend a nickel on that. Not working out for me, so I can leave it. Okay, this room once again. Almost got hit. That's not good. Took out one heart. Take out this jumpy guy here. He's going to be annoying. And from here on out, nice and easy room. Two bombs for one bomb, plus a chance at a at a hit. Sit it, uh, what? What am, I, what am I trying to say here? At a hidden tinted rock. Oh, that's a good deal. Okay, not a nice room. Any room with masks and hearts is not a nice room. No matter how easy the room layout is, it's not going to be nice. Yeah, just run into him. You have such a good time dodging around until I run into him. Can I just run around the perimeter of this room to get by the eyeballs? Maybe, but then I have to worry about the spiders. Well, I took one hit of damage, but I didn't get hit by the eyes, so at least I got a kind of new strategy for that room. And where are you going to pop up? Right there. Same spot. Pretty close to the same spot. And here we go. Get him frozen. Take him out. To a nice dinner, you know. And maybe go to a movie, catch a movie after that. Fistula. And if you're wondering why I haven't been using the Book of Belial, I would say, you know what? That's a great question. I don't know why I haven't been using it. Maybe I have problems with it that go way back. Maybe I don't. The 
correct answer is I don't have problems with it. I think it's a great item. And I really should use it more often. But for whatever reason, I seem to only use it on boss rooms. And that's not a smart thing to do. Yeah, I should be using it a lot more. Especially on rooms like the mask one where I'm going to have trouble or the double eyeball one. Where I know things don't go too well. Luck upgrade. Found the boss room, so that's kind of lucky. I think I'm going to need the Book of Blow here a bit more. Then on Mom's Heart, where it lives, or whatever you feel like calling it. I'm pretty sure the only thing I've heard people say is Mom's Heart. But the actual name is It Lives, so I don't want to take any chances with anybody and upset anybody. Because that's not what I'm about. Gotta keep the peace. The YouTube comments, peace. Oh, come on. I just had to spawn in the corner. They never spawn in the corner. Oh, I should have been smarter about that. Use the white pony, because it's fun. And it lives. We're going to go down, hopefully, relatively easily and painlessly. And I got Brother Bobby on my side. Kind of getting screwed up with the timing of my bombs, thanks to the freezing. So that's not necessarily a good thing. But also freezing mom does mean I can get more shots in, and that actually is a good thing. Managed to take out three zombies there. Zombies are not typically much of a problem. Okay, perfect timing with the freeze. We should almost be at bombs. But if the Duke of Flies got out of the way, then maybe we'd, we'd be there. And yeah, he just ha had to spawn Chub. Here comes the bombs. Not the boom, the bombs. And that was pretty bad timing to run right back into it. Well placed bomb there. It lives. Took out two worm things. And I finally get a deal with the Angel, and it's worthless. Up to the Cathedral. Let's test out my luck upgrade. Put it to the real test here. You're gonna get me something. Some nice health. Anything. Okay, now I'm a little cheesed off. Don't know which way to go. Don't know what I'm doing. And there's a lot of flies. That takes care of a few of them. It's the red one that I don't like right now. The red ones scare me. Because if I don't get hit by their bullets, I run into them. Most of the time. And we got this Loki. I'm really focusing on him. This is not a dead end, so it's probably not wise to leave. Making sure I check out all my options. And goodbye to the second Loki. At least, I think. Maybe soon. There we go. Just one bomb fly. That's manageable. Why can't every room just be one bomb fly? Double Gemini. I took out a champion version of you earlier on. So hopefully I can do the same with just a nice regular version. Well, these guys seem to recover faster. And they're dashing. The amount of times that they do dash does seem shorter. So, I guess that's the trade-off here. But then you also get these little guys which are a lot faster too. So I'd much rather fight the champion one actually. If you were to ask me. But both fights went fairly well. I actually took out one without taking damage. It was chasing me, so I thought even if I did manage to defeat it, it would still blow me up. Go like that. And this is a dead end. Of course it is. Not very smart dodging, but 
Luckily, my orbitals did save me. Taking out one of them, that's a wonderful thing. This guy wasn't doing too much. Still never did too much. So I appreciate him for that. Not quite ready to go to the curse room. And I'm also going to not go back to that fortune teller machine because it's stupid. I don't know why I went this way either, but it did work out. Okay, maybe it didn't work out. Or maybe it did. Let's go back to here. Yep, a few last chances. Namely five, that's two of them right there. Okay, this could be very good. Do I want to keep the crystal ball? You know what? I think in this case... Do I have a charge on that? Of course I do. I think taking the crystal ball is going to be the right move. But I'm not going to take it for a very long time. Well, actually, here's what I'm planning on doing. I'm going to take the crystal ball, get a charge on it. As risky as that may be, to go through all those rooms again. Yeah, just get rid of these things. And once I get the charge, maybe I won't get the charge on it. I don't know. But the plan basically is to walk into the chest with a fully charged, or maybe not charged, crystal ball. Let's still use the Book of Belial on the Isaac fight. Just to make that fight easier, but then I also know where I'm going in the chest. That's kind of the plan that I have right now. I was really hoping for a Book of Revelations in here. Didn't happen. Therefore, a little upset. But it's just a game, so no reason to get actually upset. More disappointed than anything else. Okay, let's not mess around with those flies. Fire. While you're a pretty nice room to find, I actually want to fight a room with enemies in it. Actually, three more rooms with enemies in them. As difficult as that may be, I think it's going to be for the best. I was going to say this isn't too bad of a room. But I guess I stand corrected. Taking one hit damage. That's not good. Let's get out of there. Pick some of my money back up. Double Gemini. What's the problem here? I don't see a problem. Do you see a problem? Shouldn't be any problem. But I'm not sure how quick these... Okay, we do have a problem. These champion small guys are. Don't forget how quick the color blue is. It's obviously pretty small. I mean pretty slow. It is the smaller one so it's bound to be small. Let's do this. They run away. Get them all going in a certain direction. Continue to run away. Shoot at them from a distance. And we're good. Okay, crystal ball is charged. Let's pick up one of those. One of these. And also... Is there a full heart in here? There is. One of those. Quickly go back up to the mob trap room. Just to see if there's anything amazing in there. That's not quite amazing enough. It could be... One of the best items ever. Well, maybe not, but fate could be in there. That's a pretty good item. Although I don't need flying too much. So maybe Steven or something. That could be in there. That'd be a good item. But I think I'll just take my chances. And I did not want to pick that up. I wanted to stay at that half heart interval to get the full effect of the Polaroid. And that's a excellent way to start out this fight. Although, the freezing effect is going to be a very nice bonus. 
alongside the full set of orbitals that I do have. So I think I'm in a fairly good position to be winning this fight. But just how easily will I win this fight? That's yet to be determined. Although things are going fairly well. First phase has gone down and I only took one hit and that happened right away. So for the majority of the first phase, I was able to not take any damage. That's kind of the goal here. Should almost be on third phase. Second phase went down perfectly. Here we go, third phase. He's going to be firing some homing shots. And he unfreezes. Luckily didn't get hit by the angel fetus. You're still frozen. Didn't get hit by the homing shots. That's always a risk that you run when you try and switch to a different side of the screen. I think the orbis blocked the shot there. Okay, Isaac is done. And... There... Oh, oh, okay. Well, you heard my plan. This is obviously not what I wanted to happen. But it is what happened. And I'm not too upset about keeping the Book of Belial. It's a good item. And it will help me beat the boss. Or Blue Baby. But it's just not what I was hoping to do. Because now I have no idea of which way to go. As per the usual, when there's a room with two horsemen and one of them is war, I'm going to be taking out the other one first. I'd much rather be running around avoiding war when it comes to or all by himself rather than be dodging extra enemies and fighting war at the same time. I'm in kind of a bad spot by taking two hits of damage, so hopefully the bad trip pill will have my back eventually. Super Wrath, not too much of a problem here, hopefully. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. That one bomb almost made the other one hit me. That's scary. If I can keep making them hit themselves, that's good. Running into them, that, that would be bad. I'm not sure if the bad trip turns into full health only when I have like a half red heart. So therefore, getting down to or finding half a red heart is going to be even more important now. So that's kind of the thing that I'm hoping drops the most. Almost more than an item. Could take my chances. I do have a book of Blau charged. And I do have the Emperor. You know what? Let's do it. Let's go all out. Book of Belial. Let's try and get some freezes in. And when we get a freeze, drop a Mr. Mega. Because that should do a fair bit of damage also. And this is work going to work out nicely. Took one hit there. That's not good. Okay, don't worry about Mr. Mega. Second phase. One hit on the first phase. Kind of like last time, but it still is going a bit worse, I would say. The dodges aren't quite as clean as they were before. Maybe that's because I'm trying to do too much with Mr. Mega. But I still think that's the best route to go if I can make it work. We are at the third phase already. Mr. Mega is going to be useful when it comes to just these angel fetuses here. Maybe take out a few extra ones, save me some crowd control. There's none there. Might as well throw in a Mr. Mega. And look at that. Half hour interval. It also looked like the boss room was a long ways away, so I'm glad I used the Emperor card when I did. Took a little bit of risk in doing that. Worked itself out. I think the run was fairly balanced. I got a few lucky drops such as the Eternal Heart, but it uh, it was a fairly close run in the end. If you like this video and want to see more, feel free to check out the other Isaac videos on my channel. And until next time, thanks for watching.